Hi, I'm James. Hi, I'm Oliver. And welcome to Evolutionary. Evolutionary is a short film basically following a SWAT team into a warehouse. Um, and then very soon you realise all is not what it seems. With a kind of deep undertone and then just covered in guns and gadgets and explosions and everything awesome. Uh, the film uh, is the first scene of what we hope will ultimately become a feature, uh, taking the script uh, from the 10 minutes, which is the short, into a 90 minute sci-fi epic. Without giving too much away, the script plays a lot on suspense and the elements from your more old-fashioned sci-fi films. The feeling of being hunted and being watched. It plays with what you think you know before finally turning everything that you've been led to believe as the script develops on its head. I've sort of been a big fan of science fiction ever since I was young. Blade Runner, again, had a lot of influence on that, huge. Comic book wise, there's a lot of influences in the, in the picture which came across Dust to Dust, which was a prequel to the book that inspired Blade Runner. The visual ideals behind the project all came from that book with some amazing artwork, games like Metroid. The feel of the characters in that had a lot to play with it. Moving on then obviously you sort of Metal Gear Solid, filmic games now such as Halo, Halo 3, Halo 4. Um, this is a large cost implication, but I really think it helps with the actors and helps with the performance. Uh, you know, someone holding a gun and pretending to fire, and you put in the, the flares and the, the backfire, and afterwards, or having blank ammunition, having them fire in the day, they really feel the, 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 the jump of the gun. You know, uh, you blow something up. You know, I want to see that heat of the explosion dripping from someone's face. As soon as you see something that's quite obviously VFX, your brain sort of switches off which is something we really want to stay away from in this project, using VFX to the minimal, just to help enhance the situation rather than build it. One of our VFX guys, Ahmed, uh, is very, very talented, and we, we, he sort of willing to come on board and help us out with some of the background settings, um, adding in the layers we need to really bring this to. So there's little touches, you know, we're not gonna do an entire prop, we're gonna build that. But certain things like layering the background, you know, adding that, the little, little things that make a movie seem real. He's kind of come in and do some stuff for us. And it's going to look amazing. And we never really expected to have sort of the high-end people that we do attached to it. I mean, I was very lucky to have our costume department, camera department, special effects, visual effects, um, everyone. I mean, some of the films these guys have worked on, I mean, the X-Men movies, Harry Potter movies, Die Hard 5, some music videos such as Prodigy's early ones. So it's a really skilled team, which is you know, a, a scary thing to take on because you can't really let them down. You have to keep the whole project at that level the whole way through because you know these guys know what they're doing. I really love the script. I first got the script from Oli. Oli Crawford is a friend of mine. I know him really well now. I worked with him on a couple of films. He gave me the script. He was very enthusiastic about it. I read it and I thought it was really great. With lots of potential for creating some really amazing visual stuff. It's a film which very much lends itself to pushing the design as much as we can on this production, but also supporting the narrative and also leading away from it in different directions to, um, to keep changing the audience's perspective. And that's quite exciting, I think. A great opportunity to use kind of contemporary tactical weapons uh, you know, in a kind of really fast thinking, kind of flexible environment. I'm quite well researched and versed into the various devices, ideas used in design for science fiction film and how that relates to costume design. What they're trying to achieve, um, I think that my skills could really help and obviously I do a lot of blood and blood work so I think that will also help towards gunshots and bullets and all that kind of thing. And the location is where they're going to shoot it, that would lend itself to a lot of maybe do like wire cameras, and like, you know, we sort of hang cameras in the ceiling and we zip them from one side to the other at a high speed and stuff like that. We do that like ramping, and uh, I can't wait to do it. And I please get some money to make it work. The money that we're going to take in for, for this really ambitious project is basically going to be spent across a few aspects. Uh, the first being the location. So we've tried and tried to get free, but unfortunately with 
the amount of safety and the amount of complexity we need from this is something we just can't get away from. Obviously you need a camera, you can't make a movie without a camera, and without lights and without sound equipment. Um, a crew will work for free, but you have to feed them. And they have to get there. Uh, all of these costs we have to take into consideration because everyone has to make a living. Now if we, if we can't pay these people, we can at least look after them and treat them as if they should be treated. Down the side is a list of perks, um, a list of little things that we can try and offer back to you um, for your donation and your involvement in the project. Some of them are quite small, from anything from a thank you credit, uh, leading right the way up to you being a producer and being involved in the film. Uh, any help you can give us is much appreciated. I mean, even if you can't contribute, sharing and liking and tweeting and, and basically spreading this out to everyone that you can would really help us and try and get this project to life. Uh, it's an exciting project for me and it's an exciting project for the team involved. Now we just need your help to push this project over the line and um, get it made. So thank you very much.